Shand was uh, set up originally by Stephen Shand. He started off doing custom frame builds uh, for customers um, maybe around 10 years ago uh, and he gradually built a reputation for himself. Um, I wanted a career change maybe about five, five years ago. Moving things on from Stephen doing custom builds, one-off builds, one at a time uh, from a blank piece of paper to looking at doing something a, a bit higher volume and maybe coming up with actual fixed frame designs that you could yeah, rather than doing custom things, working with the customer to decide what the bike is, is it's actually doing a, a frame design and going out and selling that. But at the same time having an opportunity that it could be built to order and you know, aspects of personalization that's there that you might have. The tubes will be cut, they'll be welded up, uh, the frame will be finished, it'll then go into paint and be painted and it will have a colour or paint design done to the customer's choice. It will then be assembled with the components, packed up and then sent out. If we had a, a vision it would be to be seen as um, sort of a leading manufacturer of bicycles in that, in that sphere uh, to make beautiful bikes that, that can do that kind of stuff. Not you know, to be renowned for that in the UK but also around the world. We have been building to order to begin with. You know, so that's your mindset is built to order, and you realise after a point in time, in order to uh, you know talk about growth or, or scale, for example, even if you scale by a, a little bit, you realise it's not sustainable to be able to uh, scale a business by doing built to order, um, and there, there reaches a point where you have to change that. No. <laughs> To be an internationally respected and successful company producing beautiful and practical adventure bicycles and related products with a Scottish manufacturing base at its heart. Stop.